I had a spool of filament jam up my AMS on my bamboo printer, much worse than you see here. I had forgotten to snap closed the spool when I inserted the refill and it came apart in the AMS making a complete mess. I remember seeing a spool winder online and I thought to myself why spend a couple of hours fixing my spool when I can spend a couple of days making the machine do it. After looking a little more I found a motorized uh, modified version. Of course I went with that motorized version. I printed all the parts, found some handles, and then I assembled everything on a nice piece of hardwood. And then I noticed a lithium battery in my shop that I could use as a power source. A quick design of a battery bracket completed the project. A long zip tie holds the battery firmly in place and the BNC jacks makes it easy to recharge the battery. So it was time to see if the machine worked. The disassembled spool was easy to hold together with the uh, axles from the machine. Definitely a problem, and it was one I expected. The filament guide thread is flimsy. The axle is not secured on the bottom, and the carriage is loose. I'm going to fix that. You can see here how just by holding the uh, carriage, things work a little bit better. But the axle is slowly working itself out from uh, the bearings. I marked and drilled a small hole with a force and a bit under the axle to make room for a screw and a washer. A couple of drops of glue on the carriage and things work great. This sled really is an ingenious design. I wish I could take credit. Uh, I like it. I buy almost all my filament from bamboo, so re-spooling is rarely an issue. It did come out nice. However, I barely finished the project before I found a hugely improved version online. It seems a lot sturdier, and if I had to do this over again, I would definitely go with this version. But in any case, I got what I needed. I won't use the rewinder often, but when I do, it would be nice to have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if so please like and subscribe.